If you want to add borders and colors to your pages, if you're on the Home tab, then go to the Paragraph group and click on the Borders drop down arrow. Go down to Borders and Shading and then click on the Page Border tab. Or, let me close out, if you're on the Design tab, then just come over here to the Page Background group and there you go, Page Borders. Opens up the same window, takes you right to the Page Border tab. Go ahead and choose a style, maybe something dashed. When I select that, automatically adds a border, as you can see over here in the preview window, to all sides of my page, which will duplicate to include all pages. And if you don't want to add the border to the bottom, then go ahead and click on it to deselect it in the preview window. Or, if you can't click quite exactly on these borders here, then you can use the buttons. That's for the bottom border, that's for the top, and of course the left and the right. In any case, let's do something more. How about if we add color to it? Let's do red. And let's go back to line and make the line thicker. And let's do ooh, three point. And then click on the left and the right. Change it to green. I think you know where I'm going with this. Top and bottom, because those are Christmas colors. Click okie dokie and ooh, that looks pretty fancy. But did it apply to all pages? Let's take a look, see, click and drag, and yes, it did. Cool. Now, if you want to be able to adjust the margins for the border here, maybe push it out more towards the edge of the page, then come back up here, click on Page Border, come down and click on Options, and there you go. You can measure from the edge of the page where text will keep the edge of the page, and then come up here and do the top six, 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 and then watch what happens when I click Okie Dokie and click okie dokie again that is keep an eye on these borders here because they should get pushed right to the edge they have practically no margin well okay six point let's go ahead and go back to page borders and if you want to do something else like maybe add shadow to it well it updates it all here in which case if i want to customize the shadow then i can go ahead and deselect that but then when i do that it goes into custom so shadow's a one-time thing use what they got or forget it Let's see, 3D. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave that up to you. The final thing that we can look at is something artsy fartsy. Click on the drop down arrow. Well, you got apples and ice cream cones. What else we got? Oh, something Christmassy here. I like that. Updates all the way around it. I can go ahead and customize it, but I'll leave it so it surrounds the entire page. You can apply this to the whole document or if you have sections, apply it to the sections. We'll talk about sections in a later training video, so you want to keep this in mind that you do have additional options, but right now, the whole document. And let's go ahead and click Okie Dokie, and ooh, that's pretty. How about page color? Up here on the design tab in the page background, there's page color. Choose something that blends well with the green. Ooh, that's a bit harsh. Okay, there we go. Red accent to lighter 80%. I can go ahead and select that, then if I want to tweak it, click on the page color again, go down to more colors, and then click and drag the slider up to make it a little bit lighter, click okie dokie, not too shabby. And then of course to clear all this out if you don't like any of it, which is kind of sad because I worked really hard, let's go ahead and click on page borders, and then say none, okie dokie, page color, choose no color, and we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.